We're going to do that first. Stay there for me for one second. Mm -hmm. So at a veterinarian clinic, in most cases, unless they have a groomer that's a veterinarian, they wouldn't be doing this right here. They wouldn't know how to do it. I took my dogs to a veterinarian who was using a 40 blade with teeth on it that were missing. The, the veterinarian was cutting every single dog sanitary, and every time he did surgery and all that good stuff, he would nick the dog. My dog went in there for a dental, and he got two nicks on his tummy when I brought him home. Veterinarians aren't groomers, and groomers are not veterinarians. But I'll tell you what, some veterinarians are great, but they don't do everything a groomer does. And if they don't have a groomer that does it, sometimes they will do what they have to do to do a haircut on a mounted or aggressive cat or dog, but they also are not groomers. They're not doing this every day. And what I love the most about what I do is this dog is not being sedated just to get this haircut done. At 11 years old, you might not have a same dog if you go through sedation. It's a hit or miss, just like when you have surgery, it's hit or miss, you wake up. So he's here, we're gonna go through it together and then I'm gonna see him again. He's gonna be, oh, it's this lady. And then I'm gonna see her again. Oh, it's this lady. And then, then I'm gonna see him again. And it's gonna be like, oh my gosh, it's Dee Dee. And then I'm gonna see him again, he's like, hey, it's Dee Dee. And then I'm gonna see him again, he might be going blind, he's gonna know my voice because I talk loud and I'm a different kind of person than anybody else that he's ever met. And he's gonna be like, I recognize your voice, you know, I really, I feel good, I feel good, I feel okay, I might fight because now I'm going blind, but you know what, I'm kind of okay because I remember her, I remember what happened there. The first time I came in, she took off all the mats, she got those nails taken care of, he's gonna remember in his own way, especially if you believe in the spiritual connection. He is, his spirit is going to know what we did here today. Yeah, he might never come back. But this, this body and this spirit and this energy is going to remember until he goes or until many lifetimes happen. He's going to always remember this. And I believe that that's freaking awesome. That's freaking amazing. When you come down, you want to use a 10 blade here, not a seven, not a five, not a guard. You're not going to get a guard through that stuff. You're not going to want to brush this out at 11 years old, or I would never want to brush this out on a dog. That would be extremely painful. Look at all this, okay? This is insane. That has been some seriously insane matting. Wow, that's some serious thick stuff. When you get this kind of matting wet, it just gets tighter. Tighter and tighter and tighter. Because it's, it's like, hopefully we never see this again. So if we never see it again, then if I don't capture it now, I'll never capture it at all. He's 11 years old. Uh, the last room was November. And I don't even know if the full room got done. And we were talking about nail trimming. Nail trimming was done in November, but she said she's not even sure they got to do everything because he was too mean to, to get to touch. He was too mean. So maybe they didn't even finish as well. 